Hello everybody, here is Tigerman7 and welcome back to a brand new video. So I'm here in Roblox Jailbreak and we're going to be starting a brand new series which I call Performance Squad. So I'm going to be testing out all the vehicles in Jailbreak and pretty much at the end we're going to find out which vehicle in Jailbreak is the best and is worth to buy. So this might go on for a few episodes. So yeah guys, today's episode is going to be based on cars land vehicles pretty much and yeah i'm only gonna do the ones that are in game and the ones that you can already get so yeah guys this is pretty much what we're going to do but before we do that let's roll the intro I hope you all enjoyed the intro. I feel like it was really cool. Sometimes it's a little laggy on jailbreak. Don't really understand why, but yeah. Let's just go over here. Don't know why they're following me. Anyways, that's really weird. And yeah, guys, let's just get on with the video. So, first car we will be testing is the, well, we're going to be testing cars that are already inside of the game, so let's just find out what our first car will be. So I'm just gonna get out of jail and we're gonna find out. Okay guys, so the first vehicle we will be testing out is the Model 3. So some of you might not be expecting this because the Model 3 is pretty cheap and yeah, some people... This might be the first vehicle they ever buy, but I feel like this is a really cool vehicle to use. So, yeah, we're going to be using it. So, let's just... So now, guys, let's just go to our track and, yeah, we're gonna find out how good this is. Okay, guys, so we're at the track and, yeah, let's just test out how good this is. Free two one go wait did i start the timer no i didn't start three two one go there we are guys let's go so yeah this car is really good i mean the handling is amazing and yeah this was my first vehicle i ever bought in jailbreak i'm pretty sure but yes guys today we're only going to be testing pretty cheap vehicles then yeah we're gonna go on to more advanced and then million dollar vehicles so yeah oh the only thing we won't be using the monster truck because i don't really own it but anyways guys this i think is a pretty cool uh, car and it's r really worth to buy i mean it is really cheap like fifteen thousand pretty sure you can get you can get that in about five minutes or something like that so definitely worth to buy okay and brakes really good but yeah then again it's a tesla so i was expecting this from a tesla so yeah guys let's get ready to stop it here it's a bit laggy okay hopefully it doesn't crash so one minute and 13 seconds so let's just put it down right here. Mod free. And let's go with one minute, 13 seconds, and eight milliseconds. Guys, so this was a pretty good car. Uh, definitely not the fastest one on my track, but yeah, then again, my track is really. Um, big so yeah let's just put that nice so my truck is pretty big and yeah so let's just go get the next car right now next car will be the ATV another a 15 um, thousand dollar car I think 
No, a fifty dollar thousand. Yeah, fifty thousand. Don't really check the prices that much. But yeah, guys, we're not gonna use the ones that uh, I think personally aren't the best because yeah, they're kind of slow and I don't think they're kind of good. Uh, gonna take the title of the best jailbreak vehicle. But anyways, guys. Oh, and also, I think most of you are expecting the roadster to be the best. I totally understand that. I mean, yeah. It's between the roadster and the Bugatti, I think. But anyways, guys. Let's start the timer here in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah. So, I hope you guys all enjoy the music. But, yeah. So, this, is, this handles pretty good. I mean, not the best. Because when you... Uh, turn it kind of slows down a bit. I think it is slower than the model 3 Not very sure. We're going to find out though But yeah Oh, and let me tell you guys some of the uh, Categories we have so we have land vehicles we have um, air vehicles and I think we have uh, The water vehicles too So yeah not sure guys but we're going to find out in the following videos because this might take like five videos so yeah but anyways this has pretty good handling and i feel like it's a really good thing it's cool that um it's off-roader it's a lot of of off-roading so yeah but yeah guys i'm just including this i'm not gonna include any uh, motorcycles except for the volt bike because yeah i included this and i don't think i should include motorcycles but yeah guys this is going to represent the motorcycle team and off-roader team and stuff like that but we're coming at the bank and i think this might be the longest one i ever made yeah, we're already at one minute, so... Oh no. One minute. I think we're gonna get there at two minutes. That's not very good, guys. Pretty much depends how much um, time it takes. We might be doing eight cars. Might be doing five cars. I'm not sure, guys. Depends how much time it takes to do all of them. So I was expecting kind of like eight minutes. Well, not a, like a ten minute video, but... Let's stop it. Two minutes and one second. This, yeah, this is not the best time. For a $50,000 car, it is pretty worth it. So yeah, guys, if you want it, I guess you should buy it. And one minute. One second and 92 milliseconds. So there we are, guys. Let's go get the next car right here. And yeah, let's go. Oh. It's still a little laggy, I don't understand why, but it's gonna be okay. Yeah, so the next vehicle we're doing is going to actually be the... Well, let's not start with the Dodge Challenger, let's just go for now with the classic car. Because I feel like this is a pretty cool car. So let's just use it, guys. This is a really cool road right here. Don't understand why I like it so much, but it's really cool. I mean, it leads right to my track, so. Anyways, three, two, one, go. I feel, I feel like it just looks so fancy with the hat and this car right here. But then again, might be just me. Maybe you guys think that it's kind of weird. But anyways, yeah. I forgot to lock the vehicle. Anyways, this is a really cool car. I mean, you can really use it to escape from the museum. So I feel like, yeah, this is the best car to use if you want to escape the museum. If there's some camper cops out there. Not saying that there's anything wrong with camper cops because I camp mo some of the time. It's the easiest way to get money, guys. So, yeah. But anyways, 
So then now I think we have tested three cars. And yeah, we have two more cars to test, guys. And I'm not gonna tell you which one they are. I mean, you know which one one of it, them is right now. But anyways, actually I think, yeah, we'll test three more cars out. So yeah, I'm sure none of them will get faster than the Bugatti or the Roadster. But it's worth to try them, so. I mean, it is the fastest vehicle, so. One minute, 32 seconds. Okay, guys, so this was the f um, one of the fastest. So, uh, classy. Okay, this is one minute, three, 32 seconds and 0 0.4 milliseconds. Cool guys, so let's go get the next car and it's not the Challenger, it is the Dune Buggy. So yeah, this car is kind of uncontrollable, maybe they fixed it, I don't know, haven't played with it for a, wh for a while. I've mostly been using the um, uh, Roadster and stuff like that, but anyway guys, let's get it. Okay guys, so we're doing the Dune Buggy next. And yeah, this is still very uncontrollable. It's kind of hard. Oh, I think I forgot to start the music, guys. There we are. Yep. I got some music. I think you guys have seen it in the live streams. But anyways. Yeah, so this is kind of uncontrollable. But still really, really weird. So, <laughs> I can't even get to my track. Okay, there we are. Close. Yeah, so... Three, two, one, go. There we are, guys. Hopefully, I can control it. If I can't, that's a rip for me. I didn't even press the rocket. <laughs> what is happening? I don't think this is, yeah, straight off the bat. I, yeah, this is not a very good vehicle to use. Yeah. Anyways, guys, we're not going to test this one out. It's really uncontrollable. So, let's just go to the Porsche and, yeah. Okay guys, so, the next car is the Porsche, so let's just take it out, but yes, now we're starting to get in the more advanced vehicles, but yeah, the next, ve uh, the next vehicle is the Dodge Challenger, and that will be the last vehicle, if I could use the Porsche, let's just go the normal way, so, yeah, this is really cool. So yeah guys, uh, the cars might go for a few episodes, like two or three episodes, but it's okay, I mean, doesn't matter. It's a series, so that'll be what a series is about. Anyways, is that police? That's police, we gotta move quick. So, three, two, one, go. So I have started the timer, guys. Not doing the same mistake five times again. But yeah. Whoa, that was a little flippy. Yeah guys, this is a really cool car. I mean, yeah, still a really cool car to use if you escape the museum, but I still recommend using the um, classic car. I just feel like it's a little faster, but we'll find out right now. So yeah. I think the next vehicle will do uh, the Tesla Cybertruck and yeah, I'm not gonna give away any more. This is all I'm gonna tell you guys. But yeah, hopefully it doesn't crash because I don't want it to crash like it did in the stream. So yeah. Okay. Oh, and also guys, I'm not allowed to use rocket fuel. It's just the normal car itself. I'm not gonna be police anyway, so because police makes the cars go like 10% faster, so you're not allowed to use that. But anyways, I feel like this was already faster than, no, nah, this isn't faster. Yeah, the classic car is still faster, I think. But anyways, guys. Oh no, the train. When I hit the train, I'll stop it anyway, so. And boom. This was 
slower than the classic car. So Porsche is one minute thirty four seconds and ninety six milliseconds. Anyways, guys, let's go get our last vehicle, the Dodge. I'm pretty sure this will be a pretty uh, big challenge because you guys get what I just did there Dodge Challenger big challenge yeah anyways so nope I shouldn't have stuck that there <laughs> okay Challenger I feel like this looks amazing I mean the speed of this car is pretty big it feels pretty fast but it's not about the speed here, it's about the looks. This car looks sick. Yeah. And it's got a lot of power to it. So it's a race car. Vroom, vroom. Okay. Hopefully it's controllable. But yeah, three, two, one, go. Okay. So this feels pretty fast for for a $65,000 car, I think. I think that's what it is. It's pretty fast. I mean, yeah, I think it's a little bit faster than the Model 3. I don't know, we'll find out, but I think it is a little faster than the Model 3. Oh no, guys, that's not good. I just stopped the timer. We'll wait for our wheels. Can I move? Yeah, there we are. Go again. Doesn't matter, guys. We're all right. It's really cool. I mean, this car, I think, is pretty much made for drifting. So, yeah. And also, guys, I don't understand why. It doesn't allow me to <coughs> put on the spoiler. Sorry, guys. That allowed me to buy the spoiler that I really wanted, but anyways. Someone in the chat is just selling keys. That's so cool. But yeah, this car looks amazing. One of the best, I think. So here we are guys, coming in the last, oh it is, <coughs> it's slower than the uh, Model 3. Okay guys, so I got a Cybertruck and yeah, this is going to be the last ta test of today's video, the first episode of the, f of the series, so yeah, 3, 2, 1, go. So I'm pretty sure, what, let me just restart that. So, like I said, guys, I'm pretty sure this is going to have a really fast time because the Model 3 had a fast time and this is, like, 15 times more expensive. I'm not going to do the maths because that would take kind of a long time. But, yes, it feels really fast. It's, it's a bit sad that it doesn't have an interior because it looks really cool. So, yeah. Yeah, this is... The fastest car I think we ever had by now. Well, and yeah. I think. Wait, how many cars was this? Yeah, six cars. So, three of these cars are going to be moving on to the semi finals, I'm pretty sure. So, we'll find out which one is going to be that. So, the most efficient by now, I think, is the Cybertruck. It's really fast, really good speed, and also can hold a lot of friends so if you guys have a lot of friends go for the cyber truck but if you guys want to be alone in the car with only one passenger i feel like the best solution would be either the model 3 or the classic car yeah guys we're pretty fast right now three two one and boom one minute 15 seconds and 14 milliseconds so cyber And it's gonna be one minute, 15 seconds, and 40 milliseconds. So I suggest you guys go buy this car. It's the best. 
But yes, the, the cars that are moving on is the Model 3, the, uh, let me just find out here, yeah, the classic car, and the Cybertruck. So, this was the first episode of the season, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So, the cars moving on are Model 3, Cybertruck, and the classic car, so... You guys will see those in the semi-finals but yes this was the first round the first episode of the land vehicles and yeah hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next episode bye